Hey there, so welcome to Blockchain Prime. And in previous video, we built a basic front end for it using Create Kava Dapp Utility Tool. And in this video, we will be linking our smart contract with the front end which we built in previous videos. So, without further ado, let's get started. The first thing you have to do is you have to go to this contracts folder inside SRC. So, basically, I hope you have followed along and you know where this src file is or src folder is and where this contracts is and stuff like that okay so inside src just go to this contracts directory and here you can see this flipper.json so we have deployed the smart contract previously and i already told you that you have to copy the address from which you have deployed on which you have deployed and also the ABI which stands for application binary interface and just in case you have not copied this then you can just go to your remix ID and deploy that contract again copy the address from here paste it here inside this address and go here and copy the ABI as well so yep yeah, copied the ABI so and pasting it here So, uh, yeah, I pasted the ABI here. Now, you just have to go to this button. Here, we are calling a function called as get value. Let's change it to get message and find where is get value and change it to get message. Get message. Also, we are calling this get value twice. Yeah. So let's change it to get message. And we are having this get value here as well. So we are calling get message here as well. So basically, you just have to use this function get message. So I have replaced get message. Like I have replaced get value with get message everywhere inside this app.jsx file. Cool. Now let's check whether it is actually working or not. So for that, come here, refresh this page and click on connect wallet and it is showing hello Kava. So as you remember that earlier we were setting it to be like true or false, but now it is showing hello Kava, which means that it is fetching a message from blockchain or Kava network basically. Now we have to change its value as well by clicking on set message and entering any value and when we click set message it is going to set that message to the blockchain so let's do that now so we know that the function for it is toggle value which is here like set message is calling toggle value now let's change it to set message so copying it here this video now searching where is toggle value and pasting set message set message cool but 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 here the set message was requiring an argument which was underscore message right so basically we are giving an argument as string so we need to pass it here as well so for now let change or hard code this with a block chain line okay and when I click on set message it has initiated the transaction I have to sign it confirm now I have to wait for like three to four seconds and then click get message and it is going to get the message from the blockchain so yeah when i clicked on get message it fetched a blockchain prime cool now instead of hard coding we need to set it from here like i am going to write something and after that if i click set message it is going to set the message here 
so for that let's make a variable which is going to store this value which we are going to enter here so i am naming it as msg set msg is the function which is going to set message and i am using use state hook so for now it is having a empty string and empty string and uh, here i am going to pass that message value msg and whenever there is a change in the input box so i am adding a function or listener known as on change and whenever there is a change it is going to set message to e dot target dot value cool now connecting now i want to set message as hey anu hey anu cool you are cool setting the message it is asking me to pay some kava confirm Now I have to wait for three to four seconds. When I click get message, mm -hmm. yeah. So it is saying here, "No cool, you are cool." So basically, we made our first greeter app. We can fetch the value from blockchain. we can set the value to the blockchain and basically kava network in our case so yeah now we we want to improve this more like you are you can see the value of lipo here so now let's change this by going to mm -hmm, mm -hmm, detail you can see the message here So yeah, you can see the message here. This is the message, and whenever we submit, we want this value to be empty, like an empty, like an empty string. Whenever we submit, so let's add that functionality as well. So the value is going to be message, and the message is going to be. no so set message is going to be null so basically what we are doing here is we are calling set message and whenever the message is set we are calling this set message set msg function which is setting the value of msg to a blank string so <coughs> sorry uh after i make transaction and call this there is no change which means that i might be doing something wrong so so now let's change it to be there set message confirming the transaction paying the gas fee the transaction has initiated mm -hmm. the transaction is successful mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay so when i clicked on get message it just cleared this input value and also fetched the message so basically i can set a new message here click on set message and it is going to set the message pretty simple and in the next video we are going to deploy this full stack app which is built on top of kava network on netlify
and the deployment process is going to be really simple so make sure to check it out see you in the next video